Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here and welcome back to the Long Dark where today we're on a search for the Sasquatch. Don't worry, you haven't missed anything in between as I've just basically healed myself up and gotten a little bit of sleep from our previous episode where I've been loading supplies into the town hall. And now we're on the search for a Sasquatch, one of the uh, bonus objectives in the south where I thought it would be pretty close to town where I could look for extra goodies. I don't know if there's anything here, but oh boy, what is that? Is that, is that a, no that's not a bear. Oh, it's a guy. Sir, you okay? You napping? Oh, it's a frozen corpse. Okay. Preserved for freshness. This will come in hey, handy. we got a wolf skin coat. Awesome. That's going to be really handy. Also another uh, flare too to scare wildlife. Nice. Okay, and we've completed the side objective. Wolf scarf. Nice. And, uh, ba oh, baklava. Oh, that's my favorite. So tasty and delicious, isn't it? Wow. Looks almost like a person's face. That's a tasty treat. All right, let's go ahead and grab ourselves the bedroll too. And some goodies here. I don't think there's anything inside the container, probably. These usually end up empty with me. Yeah, darn it every time. All right, goodbye, sir. Well, I guess it was just a local legend of a Sasquatch, but it was just a, uh, I guess, a cave. Right, so the storm is coming. We still have three people to rescue. I still need firewood and lantern oil and some other things. I think also some antiseptic, as well as a lot of calories from a, uh, like, an animal or something like that, or, or a bunch of jerky or something like that. We're about halfway there. I uh, just ate a bunch of food and also healed up for the day. Let's go ahead and get Astrid in the uh, wonderful new clothing that we found, by the way. Her wolf skin coat will... Cloat, yes. Her wolf skin coat will keep her warm during these tough times. I'll use that bedroll, by the way, to create a bunch more uh, cloth so I can get some of this clothing up and, and repaired. So now I want to make a beeline towards that person that might need rescue. So I'm going to go over this way, head to the road, and see if we can find ourselves another victim from the crash. Uh-oh. I hear wolves. I wonder what would happen if I use a marine flare this time to try to avoid them. I don't think it would scare off the timber wolves, though. I think they're a little bit more aggressive, so I'd need to... Ah, oh, damn, I only have one round. If I kill one of them, it'll make them both bail. And look at all this wonderful firewood down here. If I need additional firewood, I'll come back to this forest. There's a lot of down limbs here. Perfect, we can make a lot of firewood out of that. Although, it might be best to just use the reclaimed wood from the general store slash gas station right across the bridge. We'll check on that a little bit later. One of the last things we'll need to do before we uh, finish up our, our tasks. Though the food, I think, will be our number one thing. If I can find a deer, that'd be cool too, but it takes, again, fuel and time in order to get that all cooked up and ready to go. There is a... Uh, Let's see, there is a road here, so if I keep going this way... Actually, I probably should go down. Or should I go this way? Let's go up this way. I heard wolves around. And also, I'm over uh, weight again because of the stuff I'm carrying. But I'm going to try to carry somebody back to town because we're very close to them and I want to make good use of our time. Okay, this looks safe. Let's see where we're going. So the crossroad is there and then there's the bridge right there, so they should be on the other side of the bridge. Let me keep the high ground, because the wolves are around. I want to be able to see them. Nothing. Okay. I wonder if this uh, coat keeps them away now. We'll see. It's just mostly warm than anything else. All right, so I think I see power lines there. So that's definitely the road. Now we have to find this person who's somehow gotten lost. So there's still some other uh, secondary objectives in the game that we can go to, including the cave in the north, uh, where there, apparently there's a glowing cave there, and then a bunker raid, which uh, the preppers, or rather the, um, uh, the forest stalkers have talked about there being a person there who has been hoarding supplies or something like that, and they're going to go raid him. Something like that. Okay, the road is up here. We're actually on the road now, according to this. This must be the road right here. So this is the road right here. So let's kind of stay off the road a little bit to see if we can find this person, because they seem to be over to the west a little bit. Oh yeah, we can see the plane crash from here, too. You can see it smoldering in the distance. There's a lot of firewood around here. Well, worst case scenario... If I don't get enough wood from inside the town, we know we can r run right over to the forest, though it's a little littered with animals. You know what would be really cool in this game is if I could craft like a little sled or something to pull behind me? 
so that way it necessarily wasn't on my person, but that I could carry it with me. Or maybe tame one of the wolves to do my bidding. Yes. I'll be I'll be like a evil Snow White with a goatee, do, having uh, all the animals do my bidding. Let's see. Well, I don't... What was that noise? I think that was my stomach. I don't see any clear sign of a person anywhere yet. I don't see... I don't see footprints. I don't see a body. I don't see blood. Let's keep going this way. Fire a distress pistol in the search and look for a response. Oh. I don't think I have a pistol with me, do I? Hold on, what do we have for weapons? Damn. Okay, if I knew I could have brought a, uh, a flare pistol, that would have been cool. We'll have to do that on our next one. Luckily, this person's not too far away. We should be able to find him. Is that required for them to pop up? Does that make them spawn? I hope not. Oh dear. That must be one of the survivors. Oh damn it. My shot was so quiet that it put him to sleep. Okay, well, this should take care of the food situation. Also, I hope a survivor would hear that. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Almost 10 kilograms of food from that. How much uh, time would this take? Oh, my God. That's awesome. Whoa. All right, 2 hours and 17 minutes. Hour 13. Yeah, let's go with the knife. There we go, baby. Um, a hide? Yeah, I don't need that at the moment. I just want to grab food. Dude, I'm going to be so over-encumbered now. Be able to carry this load for much longer. I know. Girl, you got a you got a heavy load on you. What else you got? Uh, let's see. The two... Oh, man. Man, there's a lot of good stuff I should carry and drop off. Oh, apparently I have more... St Wait, I didn't get rid of all the oil? Well, I guess I should probably keep that for this thing. This thing takes one liter of uh, fuel, so I could probably refuel it. Yeah, let's just refuel this thing. Probably a good idea to fuel that up. There we go. Probably end up using that later. Oh, man. We got so much crap with us. Hey, look at I got some can openers, though. I forgot I had that. Ah, oh, damn. I think we should head back to town and get the flare gun. And I wonder if I can use the uh, fire place at the town in order to uh, in order to cook the food. Almost 10 kilograms worth of meat is incredible. Well, let's make a beeline back to town, then. And that's a rip to the uh, rifle, which is bad news bears for me. I'm going to have to find my handgun. And some ammunition. It's also getting late. I'm going to need ammunition for this gun, I think. The uh, pistol's really not going to cut it when it comes to dealing with those timber wolves. I mean, I can wound them, and that'll lower their morale, but I have a feeling killing one of the wolves just makes them all run away. But wounding them might take a couple shots, and uh, it's, I basically don't want them to touch me because, you know, anytime a wolf comes in contact with me, I end up getting wounded. That takes antiseptic bandages and time, as well as, I think, also after the attack, I think you get a little, uh, like, tired and dehydrated and stuff from the actual, like, attack. So let's drink some water there real quick. Okay, well, at least we uh, kind of did a accidental thing where we found a deer, and I actually was able to nail the shot, and he didn't run off from me. If you've ever gone deer hunting in real life, you know one of the uh, problems of a hunter can be that when you, even if you get a clear shot of the deer and literally hit it through its heart, which is usually located just above the uh, front leg, just kind of somewhere below the neck, even if you hit the deer, sometimes they can run off from adrenaline, and they can go quite far. Deer, uh, in a dire situation like that, even if you uh, miss some of the vital organs, can run off for a very long time before they bleed out. Luckily, in this game, it's pretty easy to track a deer, though. 
with all the uh, white snow around, you could follow the blood trail. But that just means even more time spent. Well, since we have our rifle out of ammo, I don't think I should lug this thing around anymore. So I'm going to have to try to uh, basically go minimal, uh, minimal cl um, weight now and see if I can just get around living off the land. Because these people need all the supplies, not me. Man, good job, Astrid. She's carrying a ton of stuff, dude. I really wish Molly would hook us up with, like, a sled or something to pull along behind us. So we're going to head back to Town Hall now. There's a possibility for me to go to the Prepper Bunker, but I might... I probably will have to go up to the north sometime again anyway for something. That road goes up there for a reason. There's got to be something more than just a plane crash up there. No one built a road to a plane crash. They built a road to, uh... What could be up there? Like a scenic lookout road or, uh... A mine or a mill. Lum well, that's pretty much all we've seen in this world is lumber mills and, like, caves and mines and things like that. Actually, I haven't seen a mine, but I would imagine the only two things they'd want to get here is iron ore, maybe a gold mine, something like that. All right, I think I've checked all the houses in town for supplies, so we've got really no no other useful food or anything that we can use for the people or for ourselves in these houses. So everything else now that we find, we've got to go to caves or find it out in the land. Luckily, we'll be able to cook from inside the, uh, the cabin. I really need to get a different weapon now. Or find a way to make more ammunition for the gun. Actually, I should be picking up the cartridges, but again, I haven't found a gunpowder or anything in the game. Maybe once with uh, Mackenzie. Maybe one time. My next goal now will be to make food, and then after that I'm going to try to go for uh, gathering a bunch of lumber now. So we'll finish all the goals nearby. I would have brought that person back, but I think we might need the flare gun. And, uh... Honestly, I think the, they won't die so long as I don't go near them. Yeah, this is definitely must be a mining town. You can see a pickaxe in that rock there in that park as some sort of a monument to the mining of the town. I might not have checked that house there. No, I did. I remember the little uh, railing out front. I like how people have just abandoned their tractors everywhere. Oh, there's the little general store. It's not across the bridge. It's just right there, before the bridge. All right, time to do some busy work, folks. We got to do some uh, cooking, and uh, good thing we didn't get attacked by wolves. Our scent was at like three. Hi there, father. All right, let's go ahead and do some cooking here. Oh, perfect! I can throw it inside the cooking pot. I think. Oh, it just slabs down. Can I not put down the cooking pot? That should reduce the time. Ah, there it is. Well, I only have one, so. There we go. Can I add any more? Oh, only two. Damn. Can I make a fire inside? <laughs> Just a little fire pit? Alright, we gotta wait a little bit of time for that to be done. I can speed up time too. Oh, microwave here. I never looked inside that before. Ah, another cooking pot. No, I can't take it. Oh, that's... Scam. Did I leave any cooking pots behind here? Let's see. I don't really see anything for that. Um, all right. I need to dump supplies, too. I'm going to dump anything I don't need in the fridge for now. Um, boy, oh, boy. Astrid has a lot of crap on her. To reclaim the wood for some reason? I thought I dumped all that off. Okay. Well, that's 16 hours worth of wood. Man, I got a lot of stuff to get rid of. All right, well, let's focus on making some food for now. So we'll go ahead and pass time until this is ready. Excellent. 920 calories. Wow, awesome. Let's cook another one of those bad boys. All right, Chef Dino Man is on it good today. I don't have another pot, do I? No. I wonder if I make a... If I use a can... Can I actually put meat in there? That'd be kind of dumb, wouldn't it? Nah, I don't think we can do that. There, there might be another uh, cooking pot around, but it just reduces cooking time, that's all. So let's go ahead and wait until this is done. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we're spending like an entire entire hour making food. Wait. Throw another one down. Oh, we can make all the water we need here too, I guess. I forgot. I've been taking water from toilets, most mostly because it's immediately purified. Okay, let's go ahead and see if this is enough. Too heavy to carry. Apparently we're almost starving too, so let's eat one of these for ourselves. Wow, 920? Crazy. Fresh venison cooked. Nice. That's helpful for us. Okay, what do we got here? Let's go for food. So we need to get these guys 1,600. No, 16,000. So cooked, 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 cooked. And we have four more raw. Ooh, this is going to be really close. All right, well, good. Killing one deer with one bullet was a hell of a hell of a shot on that one. For all the things I missed before, I could be forgiven for maybe two out of my 25 misses, probably. Uh, let's go ahead and cook this one, too. 50 minutes until ready. We'll wait until this one's good to go. And then we know both will be ready. Good. Cook again. And then all the food will be for me. Five minutes until ready. Wow, that's fast. And 44 minutes. Great. All right, now let's go ahead and throw this in there. So another night passes, but all remaining food can go for me. So I know we can take pretty much anything out of the cupboard then. Okay, let's see. So we've got multiple cooked food. Wow, we got very close. We only need 2,000 more. Well, I'm probably going to have to keep, keep the soda and the candy bar for me. That's right, you guys are getting fresh meat. It'll be good. Good protein. There we go. Okay, these are good. Grab some more water then. I'm carrying a lot of water too. I'd hate to go out there without the rifle and then find some ammunition, but I think we're going to have to make some uh, deep cuts now. So let me try to go to the fridge and dump off stuff I don't need anymore. Um, so let's see. Accelerant, we should probably keep one. Astrid's jacket we're still wearing. Jeans. Ah, the bakla bak baklava. Mmm, baklava. Okay, let's uh, go to the um, clothing menu. Actually, let's cut down one of these. What's our worst one? I need to make some repairs here. There we go. 82%. All right, let's go ahead and break that, break it on down now. Yeah, look at that. We get 10 from cutting that thing up. Okay. Repair. Oh. All right, now we can repair again. We'll leave the cooking pot here, too. No need to bring that anymore. It's now time to start getting big brain on stuff. Grow that big brain. So let's get our... Uh, let's see. Repair is ready. Do I have a sewing kit? I think I have several, yeah. So we should be able to repair with the sewing kit. Yep. Nice. Very good. Okay, let's repair, uh, actually, yep, that's 100%, 99, good, 87 on the boots, not too bad. Looks like I'll need cured leather to repair that, though, not, not so bad. Alright, let's see if the, I think the baklava, because it's a rare item, is probably a lot better. You know I'm saying baklava on purpose, but right? Okay, plus two instead of the other hat, yeah. Let's wear that, Astrid, there we go. <laughs> nice, I look like I'm ready for a home invasion. This is perfect. Alright, 73% on the gloves. That's about the best gloves that I have. So let's repair those two. Nice. So today's goal, I suppose, is just going to have to be getting ready to 
uh, try to finish off all other things and then get ready to go out on an adventure. I guess our worst case scenario item right now is our boots at 87%. I need to get something other than these uh, jeans. I should have probably picked up like military pants or something like that earlier, but I was too concerned with getting Gwen back and I had no idea uh, that we had to uh, get more people, so... Why, the jeans are at 80%. I need something other than that. Do I have any other clothing? Yeah, take off those pants. That's it? All I got is those? Okay. Well, I guess it's a good idea to take them off to repair them. That helps. There we go. And we'll put those pants back on. There we go. 95, 92, 97... Wow. Wow, warmth bonus is plus 20 degrees Celsius, plus another 8% Celsius uh, bonus there, too. That's crazy. Okay, well, we refueled our lantern a little bit so we can do uh, nighttime operations, but I think I can wait till day because, uh, oh, I need to get that gun, too. Let's actually uh, prepare our inventory, and then we'll uh, take a nap and see what we can do. So I don't want any more. Let's do it by weight. Rifle's got to stay now. That's useless. Uh, lantern's probably a good idea. Flashlight can go. Hacksaw pry bar. These are good for finding items. Though I haven't really been finding any sort of lockers or anything, so let's leave that for now. Uh, six cloth. We can leave that behind. Transfer all that over here. Uh, windbreaker. We're not wearing that anymore. Oh, I have uh, 50 liters of unsafe water. Let's just transfer that in there. I don't need that. Bandages, good idea. Newsprint, good idea. Arrows, haven't really been using that. Can opener might be a good idea in a pinch. We're carrying some stuff. Uh, I'll keep the marine flares just in case we encounter timber wolves. We have 23 revolver ammunition. Damn, I need to find that revolver. I don't know where I put that thing. Let's see, and then we'll leave the cans behind. And the uh, firearm cleaning kit. I'll keep accelerant, keep the ammo. Uh... We'll keep one sewing kit, one box of wood matches, and the rest of the stuff we're wearing. Tinder plug's a good idea. Crow feather can stay. Same with that simple arrow. And I think that's it for us. Most of which were, were just wearing clothing. Let's see. Book can stay for uh, fire starting purposes. Wolf scarf can stay. Uh, Painkiller's probably a good idea to keep those with me. Um... I think we're wearing two pairs of thermal underwear. I think so, yeah. Um, I think that's good. What's our weight at then? 25 out of uh, 34. So we got a plus 10 kilogram bonus. Probably a little bit more if I get a, a better meal, but I'll have to go find another uh, thing there. All right, I'll need to figure out where the heck I put my uh, handgun. I think I stored it uh, maybe at that... Uh, Prepper's cat or the uh, the abandoned cabin up here somewhere. I'm surprised it actually didn't mark that on the map. It's around here somewhere. I'm surprised it didn't leave a marker for that. And Thompson's Crossing's just got a lot of bunch of miscellaneous stuff. So now where did I put that? Uh, did I put that gun in the other box? Let's see. I need the um, the flare rifle or the uh, flare gun. There it is. All right. I should probably carry some ammo with that thing. I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to shoot in order to find people. I don't see anything else here. Nah, emergency stim, probably not needed. Um, two plus one in the chamber. So three to find the people, that could be enough. I guess I'll just carry a couple extra rounds, just in case. Maybe we better take like three rounds. There we go, just in case we run into trouble. So that was the gimmick for this part, is that we needed that. But I really shouldn't have carried another person with, you know, extra food and stuff, giving Astrid a chance to uh, take a little rest. She gonna be hungry in the morning, though. But unfortunately, I am gonna have to eat more food than these people because I'm out, like, I'm out trucking. I'm out doing some work. And that means I'm gonna have to take from the community hall, which I really don't want to do, but it's the only way to bring back survivors and such. But we'll have to do what we can out in the field. Okay, we've slept for half a day. Still seems to be nighttime. Did I only sleep for an hour, or, or did I set it to eight hours? What time is it now? Looks like it's midnight. Oh, okay. Astrid's looking a little green. I wonder if she ate some bad food. Well, let's do an eight-hour sleep, Astrid. Oh, great. And now an Aurora. Nope, never mind. 
I'd rather go in the daytime. Okay, good. Pick up our bed. Actually, you know what? Let's leave this here. We know we're not going to sleep anywhere. Ugh, I'm starving. Hold on. All right, let's optimize uh, ourselves. All right, we are going to have to take some venison, unfortunately. It's the only way for Astrid to really go out and rescue somebody. Sorry, folks. It's okay. If I find another 303 round, I'm going to go deer hunting again. And I know a good spot to go hunting. All right, I'll be back soon. Love you guys. Don't make a mess. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, cool. So we have literally no protection aside from uh, flares, marine flares. So we should probably carry one of those. How do I uh, select that? Oh, I got my, my nine. Ah, there we go. All right, so if I press two or one, I think, yeah. If we get into trouble, I'll do that. So let's take out our... There we go. All right, let's go find a survivor, shall we? So we need more food. That means more ammo or finding my gun. I'll have to remember where I put that, and I'll have to go trucking and get it. If we have to go up north to the cabin, that's fine. Because uh, we could go up this way and grab that person and then come back down to the road. Actually, it's just behind Molly's farmhouse, so we might be able to drop by there. So I can get my gun after the second guy. Revolver only seems good enough to scare off the uh, the wolves. It must be a 38 or something like that. It's not very a big round. You'd think like a 44 Magnum would be able to uh, basically kill anything that moves. Oh, I didn't notice this truck here by the tree. Oh, it's carrying barrels. Huh. Hold on a second. This is new. I don't think I've seen this before. Can I get fuel from these? Let's go inside and see what's in here. Oh, cedar firewood. Honestly, I'm just going to go out and run and get firewood on my own time. That's a pretty easy goal to get. It's just going to take time, that's all. Well, that's a shame. That guy was trying to leave town with, like, water or fuel or something. Maybe apple juice in those barrels? If there's anything in the barrels, it probably is fuel, though. If there was, that's the only thing that's not going to freeze. At least until a certain temperature. It does have a freezing point. But it is quite low. The freezing temperature of fuel. Okay, let's go find who the new person is. I hope I don't have to treat them before I move them. The best I could do is maybe give them a bandage and a uh, some water. I don't really have any food or anything like that. They could be starving, too. It's getting awfully cold out here. We're just going to have to tough it out in the interest of time. Alright, so when we get in the area, we know we can fire a flare. So we're pretty much there at the top of this hill. Oh, we might need to warm them up too, I just thought about that. Yeah. Before we move them, it might be a good idea. There we go. Okay. Uh, you're alright, Astrid. We'll be alright. Good area for deers down here. We'll have to... Is there a way to mark the map? It'd be nice if you could draw on the map or, like, take notes yourself. Alright, so let's see here. We're in the area. What does the notebook say about this? Uh, let's see... Locate and return survivors to the community hall. There must be a journal note on this. Actions, maybe? Why do I have this key? Oh, Molly's farmhouse, right. Well, it said to fire a flare to get a response, but... Uh-oh. Oh. Go 
Goodbye. That's where I shot that deer. Well, let's try firing the flare gun and see if this works. See if we get a response. Okay, let's give it a shot, literally. Alright. There we go. Alright, so the survivors have flare guns. We got a response. So it seems to be coming from the middle here. Take out a uh, flare. There we go. So these marine flares, I believe, are made of a different material. And they might work underwater. And I think they blow, uh, glow a different color. The other roadside flares kind of glow like uh, a reddish color. And these ones, I think, are blue or green. Let's make our way down to the river. Alright, we know the person's over here somewhere. Ah! That's their flare. That's where their flare landed. But let's see where they came from. Well, how far away from their marker are they? This will help us to find other survivors, too, to see how far they are from the marker. Yep, I knew it. There's a downed tree here. Oh, is that a fire? Looks like it's kind of glowing. I see smoke. Wow. Hi there. Ooh, MREs? Hell yeah. Oh, you ate it. You s Okay. Logan, you're lucky I'm here. It's okay, I got you. Let me just take these flares from you. Looks like you ate the MRE already. And a can of peaches you were able to make. Good. Let's take a look at you. Dehydration risk. Alright, let's get you some water. I've done what I can. Other than that, you're pretty good. Nice work. And you made a campfire. Proud of you. Well, good. This'll... No, you're good. Uh, let me cook these peaches up real quick, though. Good job, Logan. Luckily, I have a can opener. There we go. 13 minutes till ready. Not too long. All right. Don't mind me, I'm just snacking. There we go. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to warm up then. Logan, and then we're going to head out. You're in good shape otherwise, right? Okay, then we just need to make a beeline back to the road. And watch out for uh, wolvy wolves. And I'm actually carrying some good amount of fuel with me. 25 out of 35, so I might be able to grab some more firewood on the way back. Really warming up now, Logan. All right, I should be able to carry you the most of the way. Let's go. All right, so that is basically this way. All right, so if we get a ta, what is that? And that actually could have useful stuff in it. Uh, uh, all right, we got to stop. Sorry, Logan. There's some good stuff down here. Possibly. I don't know if I saw this before. Is that a person? There's a person in there. They're dead, probably. I see blood. Oh, wow. Search the convict's body. You stay here for a second there, Logan. I got you. Set Don't you, worry. Set you down. Well, this oh, yeah. Will come in handy. Don't need that. I'm going to carry a bunch of coal for the fire. Well, I'm glad we saw this. Oh, a rifle round. I mean, a uh, revolver. Yeah. 
Oh, wait a minute. What's her name? Probably killed him. Where'd he come from? Bloodstained convict note. I'm soaking through this paper. All that's left of me. Uh, all that's left of me, those cowards. Like something jump up and bit me. It was wrong to follow Mathis. No leader, don't trust him. Won't lead you home. Huh. And that's a broken arrow. Those escape convicts are everywhere. Is this more coal or just stones? Okay. Are right, you wait there, buddy. I just need to check the rest of this place. Anything up top? I can't jump. Uh, just the tinder back left back in there. All right, we gotta go. I have to carry you. Sorry to take you on my side quest, there, Logan, but at least we were able to find firewood. All right, so this means we just need to head back to the uh, community center. If we see any wolves, I've got a flare on standby. So we should be okay there. What, Logan? What did you say? Everything the light touches is our kingdom? Is that what you just said? Wait, you're not Logan from Wolverine, are you? Okay, we gotta go over this way. I just wanna get to the road so I don't have to walk on these hills anymore. I see a bunch of hay bales out there. It's funny how that crash site has burned for multiple days. It's probably gonna burn forever. Jet fuel, um... Doesn't burn for very long, I think. Just stay awake. We're getting closer. Hang on. I have you. Oh, wait a minute, what is all this now? What is all this tattered cloth? Or are these leaves? That's weird to see like that. None of those other trees have anything that looks like this. I guess these are dead. My family. I got you. We're gonna make it. Okay, I do know that that barn down there has uh, wolves near it, I'm sure. We've been in that car before. Okay, well, we're at the road. Just need to go across the bridge into town. And we're good to go. I'm sure there'll be a wolf around here somewhere. Now, I wonder how much fuel this coal will provide. It's kind of a good thing that I ac accidentally found that, but the survivor being there is the only reason I did. There is so much side stuff to do in uh, Chapter 3. My goodness, it's like every corner of the map, every tree has something to do with it. It's like, go hug every uh, pine tree in the in the Tri-County area. It's like, what? Okay, here's the bridge. Let me peek up over the side for a second. Contemplation Bridge. Oh, I've never actually taken the bridge, I guess. I've always just crossed on the river, so that way we didn't have to go to the bridge. Hang in there. We can do this. The bridge is a good choke point for wolves to meet us at either end, so it was a smart idea to avoid it before. But it seems like it's relatively clear. And I sure as hell don't want to go out there with an Aurora. Alright, so around that giant boulder is the town. So is there anything else of interest around here? Oh dear. Let's see. Oh, there's another bridge there. Okay, that might be the bridge we've gone across before. I got you. We're gonna make it. All right, so we just got to keep trucking this way, and we should be fine. So we just need to make it into town. We'll probably have to take a day of rest. 
Yeah, we're making good time. She's right. Damn, I'm gonna have to use more food, though. I really wish I didn't have to uh, get more food, but... Too bad the, uh, what's-his-name isn't making a soup like Grandma did. Uh, but maybe he would if I uh, completed the secondary objective with finding the charm. We'll have to at least make sure we do that before we leave. There's a reason to go back up there again. But all, all the side quests would still consume more food. Essentially, time in this game equals... Uh, Just hold on. You're basically trading uh, food and water for time in the game. So the more time it takes you to do side stuff... Uh, the more food and water you're using. But we could, of course, find more good things like MREs, like this guy found. Like, for example, he found an MRE somewhere and was able to eat it out in the field, so that's good. I'm not convinced the truck is fully abandoned yet. Let me see if there's anything else in there. No, not really. Wow, Logan's a trooper, dude. He made it from top down to the top of the mountain, across a river, through a wolf-infested farm field, and then found himself like under a t overturned tree root on the other side. That's pretty impressive. All right, well we're almost there. Luckily, we haven't had to use our revolver yet. All right, there's the town hall, exactly where we need to be. That is one survivor down. As long as we get him inside. So if I get fully uh, fed food and water, or at least pretty close before we leave, it's a pretty good chance to get to the second survivor and make our way back. He's a lot further than the first one was. Up here versus over there. But he's not as far as the third guy, which is going to have to be our probably biggest adventure. So we're going to probably go up back into the hills again. We should update this sign. All right, here we are. Wow, I can't believe it. Uh, oh, there's a free bed here. Logan, let's set you right there, sir. I want get some rest now. And is there anything else I can do for him? No? Okay, I think he's he's good to go. That's another survivor down. I wish he would say something to us, the father, every time that we, uh, you know, were to complete a, an objective or whatnot. Well, I'm going to take a sip. I will see you guys next time as we're going to be closer to that next survivor. And uh, we'll be on our way to getting survivor two and three. And we'll be on our way towards the storm. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.